Hi, uh, my name's Adrian White. Um, got a whole bunch of videos on here, some of it's psychobilly, jazz, whatever. Hopefully there's something here for everybody. It's all guitar to me. Um, and speaking of which, today I thought that I it might be cool to do a general video talking about um, improvising and not to say that I'm any better than anyone else at it. Um, but just I, I do have students come to me every now and then who might, may have seen me play and they may ask me, you know, how do you make your improvising more interesting? Um, so what I thought I'd do was just outline, um, you know, five things that will make your improvising more interesting, or five, probably more to the point, five reasons why you're bored with your own improvising. Um, so I'll get straight into it. The first reason you're probably, you know, if you are bored, that's a bit presumptuous, although if you're watching the video, chances are you are a little bit bored with your own improvising. Um, it's really that you're, you're, number one, you're probably stuck in a comfort zone. Um, and what that means is you're basically, you're playing things that are familiar. You're only going to learn new things when you're doing new things. And after a while of doing the same things, we forget how uncomfortable doing new things can be. Um, it, it means you've got to, you've got to work. You've got to do some work. You've got to do some hard work. You've either got to take your time and, and try and figure out some more interesting things. Um, or play on in areas of the guitar you're not comfortable with, use concepts that you're not comfortable with, um, and listen to you know listen to new things, which actually takes me uh, to my second point. Before I get to my second point, though, let me just give you a quick example. If you if you are playing that lick, for example, and that's a lick you use a lot, slow it down, change something, you know, break it down. I don't remember what I played, so it's gonna be kind of hard now. Something like that. Slow it down, it's a little bit embarrassing, but slow it down. Come up with something different, try a different order. Instead of going, try going. Just little things, just mix things around. Um, two cool things, start with a different note, finish with a different note. Um, not necessarily both, either or. But yeah, you you're, you need to leave the comfort zone and you need to do some things that you can't do, more or less. Um, yeah, now... Point two, you're probably you've you've probably possibly been listening to the same musicians and the same guitarists. It may be time to my hat. He's not on straight. That's better. Uh, it may be time to listen to someone else. Listen to some different musicians. Listen to uh, some horn players or some piano players. Of course, this is you know very common advice. Um, but it also means you know sitting down again comes back to work. Sitting down and trying different ideas. If you hear a horn line, try and work it out. Um, or something cool, something that you like, try and work it out. Work, you gotta work. Um, so yeah, you, you're quite possibly listening to the same things and doing the same things, and that kind of covers both of the first two points. Um, number three, you may be a little bit too focused on technique. Um, the Whatever noodling around I did at the start of this was, was honestly, you know, things I could pick apart on that and say, you know, that was technique based probably more so than something I was really hearing, which we'll get to later. Um, but stop worrying about technique and stop worrying about being the fastest guitar player or, um, you know, really technically amazing because that doesn't m make for a great guitar solo. Some of the best solos you'll hear have mistakes, um, bum notes, missed notes, the whole lot. Um, it doesn't mean it's not going to be a really cool solo. Um, yeah, so, and also focusing on the melody, you know, don't worry so much about whether am I doing something flashy. Think about the tune of it, the sound of it. Um, so you know, really important. Think about what your solo is saying and s instead of just playing and worrying about picking fast and showing everyone how good you are. No, at the end of the day, um, a good solo is it's not measurable by technique, you know, or else, you know, guys like Yngwie Malmsteen would be household names when in fact they're kind of not really. Sorry, mate. Um, now, dynamics, number four, dynamics. Um, Look, I'm guilty of probably not using enough dynamics, but then again, there are times when I think I make them work really well. Um, even when I'm playing in jazz bands, if it's... At some point, I'm just going to end up going... And, uh, you know, mixing a little genre there with a bit of blues or whatever, but I'm going to pick up the dynamics and just do something simple and hit the guitar a little bit harder. You know, it's sort of... Um, dynamics, you know, loud, soft, etc. Uh, you know, of course, a lot of blues guys are really good at it. Don't overdo it as well. I really think that it's not cool to just be all like... 
you know, like too much of that's kind of lame in my opinion as well. That's just my opinion. Um, just be cool. Just be cool. Don't try so hard. And you don't have to sound like Stevie Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan sounded like Stevie Ray Vaughan. Well, Stevie Ray Vaughan sounded like um, Buddy Guy and all those guys. But let's not get into it and political and stuff. Anyway, uh, number five. Uh, and this is this one kind of covers everything really well, I think. You know, there's there's quite a good possibility you're using your fingers and you're not using your ears. So I pointed to my cheek then, but I meant my my ears are under there. I do have ears; they didn't get cut off or anything. Um, you're using your your fingers and not your ears, which means you're letting your fingers do the talking. Now, I do it all the time. I do it too. We all do it. But sometimes you need to slow down and think about what you what you want to hear. So. Uh, okay, so uh, at the end there, I was really just playing by ear. Start dropping structures. Stop worrying about technique. You, what do you hear? You know, and of course it depends on what chords are happening and that kind of thing. Um, I did actually originally have another point talking about structure, you know, um, but of course it, you're going to hopefully be playing over a structure. For example, if you're playing a blues, you know, what do you hear when you hear that? When it goes to the four. You know, you want to you want to be hearing things over those changes. You should hear that you're going to use different notes over the four chord than the one chord, rather than just be playing the same scales or ideas all the time and letting your fingers do the talking. Let your ear get involved and use your ear and your downtime when you're practicing to train your fingers on cool things to play. Um, yeah, so just to, just to reiterate, um, why you might be bored with what you're playing, one, you're not leaving the comfort zone, and I think another way to put it is you're not working, you're not doing any work. Um, and you've got to remember that you've got to work hard and then it comes later, it doesn't all happen overnight. Um, you know, two, you're, you're probably listening to the same guys all the time. Three, you're focusing too much on technique and speed and you're not thinking about melody. It, that relates to the, to the fifth point. Um, but anyway, the main thing is you're probably, you're quite possibly focusing too much on technique. Uh, four, you may be lacking dynamics. Five, you're playing with your fingers, you're not using your ear. You know, guys like Joe Pass talk about that kind of thing a lot. Uh, and it may look like they're just flying around with their fingers, but they, you know, they know what they're doing from years and years and years and of, of doing it, you know. And, you know, I have good days like that where I'm hearing what I'm playing. Other days I know I'm just using my fingers and, you know, it's frustrating. But, um, like I said, I'm by no means a master of these things at all. But, you know, these are these are the things I would tell students if, um, you know. And I get some pretty good gigs that, I've had some really good gigs over the years that, you know, are largely are based around improvising. So, hopefully that's some kind of accreditation. But otherwise... You know, take what I say or don't. Um, but uh, if you've watched this far, I think you've hopefully enjoyed it and getting something out of it. So thank you for watching and check out some of my other videos. I'm really trying to upload more these days because yeah, it's, it's really kind of fun, you know. All right. Ciao.